Yes, because hey, Psycho Killers, how we doing, all right? Yes, indeed, welcome to Damn It Open. It's a beautiful day and I'm feeling okay. So yes, hope you'll forgive me doing another Damn It Open. I am kind of drowning in boxes, but I've got a couple of reviews I'm working on. I've got some new stuff and some weird stuff and uh, I'm aware I always say that, but it is always true. So yes, yeah, I've got quite a motley selection of stuff today. I've got a, a weird long thing. I've got an A4 envelope. I've got a medium sized package and I've got an absolute monster plus a large box. Wait, box 55 one hand street, not a magic one five PL. <sighs> So let's get into it. I feel good today. So we've got this weird long thing for starters. It's uh, fairly light and it's not giving anything away. So we're going to have to get in there, aren't we? So yeah, creeping up on uh, 40,000 subscribers, if you can believe such a thing. Might have even already got there by the time this video goes up. But like, I don't like to assume if it just stayed on 39.8 forever, I'd still be happy. Anyway, what is this and who has done it? Phew, he says. Phew, and uh, a lot of tissues. Hi, Phew, long time listener, first time caller. I've had this thing for years, enjoyed it, and now I bestow it to you, paying it forward. That's the way. I believe it's very early 90s. I remember a few friends had them and was jealous. And this is from a chap called Ryan that's at Will Not Lock. And he says it's early 90s, but uh. <laughs> It certainly is. Oh God, it's a Donatello wristwatch. You're kidding me. <laughs> oh my God, it's got the um, the squeamish UK Hero Turtles branding. That's it, man. That's how you know it's real. Wow, that's unbelievable. <laughs> that is the most quintessential early 90s naff nostalgic merchandise I can think of. This is where few lives. Oh, I love it. Thank you, mate. That's fantastic. Definitely never opening this. Perfect, what a great start. Cheers, Ryan. So that's at Will Not Lock, I'm assuming on Twitter. We're off to a flyer. God, we're very bright today, aren't we? I've gone for the uh, natural light option because there is some. Do I look better or worse in this light? I can barely tell. You can check out my awful skin in all its pory glory. Anyway, we have a very business-like A4 manila envelope. Can't imagine what might be in here. I'm assuming it's some artwork or, you know, a contract. Those documents from finance I asked for. Oh my God, they're starting to put out images of some of the new bot bots and there's one who's, uh, a repaint of uh, Stink Eye Stapleton, the little stapler guy. And he's just called Steve from Accounting. Okay, what do we have? Oh my God. Okay, we have a lengthy handwritten letter. Uh, I'm struggling to read this. Please find enclosed some potential memes. I have some printed out toy photos with uh, speech bubbles. Okay, this is, uh, this is beyond me. This is illegible. You clearly have a printer. I've been watching your channel for two years and I like that you are positively British in your reviews. I mean, I'm full-time positively British. I've been a Transformers fan for three years. However, I'm finding it difficult because there are so many good Transformers out there and I want them all so much. Ain't that the truth? <laughs> Is there any advice you might give me on this? Just get the ones you want, man. Because it's easy to feel like there are certain ones you have to get, otherwise you're not doing it right. But just get the ones that speak to you, you know? If there's one that you see and you think, yeah, that's the one for any reason. The colors, the alt mode, the robot design, the character. For any reason, just get the ones that appeal to you. Like, it's your collection and it can be whatever you want it to be. And like, I get that it's not the cheapest hobby, so don't just like rush in and snap up whatever you can. Like, by all means, like pick up a couple on clearance or whatever. Nothing wrong with a cheeky impulse buy. But like, I would say, take your time, figure out which ones appeal to you and just get those. I don't know, I don't want to tell you how to enjoy your hobby, but it is your hobby. Just do it the way you want. Is that fair? I think that's fair. I just have a few questions if you don't mind answering them, of course. Number one, one Titan class or 10 deluxe class? Deluxe for me, baby. Like, I like the Titan ones. They're cool and everything, but I just find deluxe is more fun. Plus, if you get 10 deluxe class figures, then at least three of them are going to be good. But if you just buy one Titan class toy and then it turns out you don't like it, then nobody wins. Two, who is your favorite Transformers character? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I want to say Astro Train, I want to say Skywarp, but they're not really characters, are they? Skywarp's a colour scheme. He looks cool, he does nothing. So in terms of character, yeah, probably Megatron. I don't know. Like, especially since playing War for Cybertron again, I just, I've really fallen for his bombast. I'm all in on Megatron. Is eBay a reliable source of Transformers? Yeah? But it's very expensive. Like, it is one of the only dependable places where you can always pick up the good old stuff but it's usually very expensive and like you can't always guarantee the quality. So it is always a bit of a gamble and selling on there recently has been a nightmare. Four, favorite Transformers toy. Don't ask me that, man. <laughs> I don't know. That one. Five, when are you doing the next beat down? It's all you want, isn't it? Do you know how hard I worked on that Bumblebee video? Do you know how many comments are just, when's the next beat down? When are you doing 10 shots, 10 bots? I've done four of them. They get fewer views every time. I'm done with it. Six, how do you decide what new Transformers to buy? Uh, I just get the ones that I want. Unfortunately, most of the new stuff that's coming out, I do want all of it, so... 
It's been an expensive couple of months. <laughs> like Siege is basically tailored directly to me. Studio series has been a joy. Like everybody told me that Dropkick was bad, but I wanted it, so I just bought it. I just I just go with my gut, man. Yours faithfully anonymous. Oh, all right. Well, all right, that was definitely unusual, if nothing else. Thank you, whomever. Anyway, should we crack out the cardboard? Okay, so this one comes from Dennis in NC, North Carolina, Nebraska. Oh, that's my favorite segment of the show, trying to ignorantly guess what the American states are. But yes, this comes from Dennis, and I'm a little bit excited because there's something in here that's slightly special. Not to say that I don't look forward to all the packages, but uh, Dennis has been drip feeding the information that's got me quite intrigued, and I cannot wait. Please read once. Hello again, few. Enclosed as a hodgepodge, I tried to include a mixture of new, old, Old oddities and weird for your unboxing entertainment. That's what we like. As always, love the content. Well, as a creator of content, that's my kind of compliment. A content compliment. Karen, Emma, and I all watch religiously. Oh, thank you, folks. Beautiful. So shall we see what the frick we have? Okay, we have <laughs> Power of the Prime Cyndasaur. There he is. Is he a he or a she? I can't remember. Fire-breathing warrior likes roasting Autobots and guzzling lava. Hmm, that's some spicy dirt. Yeah, this is some beautiful Firecon homage. Always loved Cyndasaur's colors like Flame Feather was my boy, but Cyndasaur was always the cool one. Would this have worked as Flame Feather? Probably not, right? Probably would have just been this plus Beachcoma. But I don't know, Cyndasaur is clearly the superior choice. Ah, brilliant. Thank you, Dennis. That's very good. Very on brand. Okay, we have a tiny thingy here. Oh, open first. Too late. <laughs> Need some spikes up in here. What is that? Like a Hot Topic necklace. 19 year old me would have been into it. What, what is this? Looks like it flips out into something. I can't, can't really see how it works. I'm a little afraid of this. There's clearly a blade in there and there's like springs, but I, I don't know how to make it do the thing. Is it to like rival this thing? I don't even know how it works though. No, I have to figure it out later. Sorry. <laughs> Whoa, who's this? All right, I have a, uh, some kind of panda. <laughs> What? Oh no! I've seen this head before. Looks mighty familiar. That's just the same one on every knockoff robot head, I swear to god. Like, I swear that was on the, um, that Stegosaurus we did in Beatdown 2 friggin' 10 years ago or something. Is there a panda in Beast Wars? There was one in, uh, Robot Chicken, wasn't there, with the, when they dumped it in the lava. But this is not, cause that was Polar Claw they used in the thing, but this is not that. This is just some garbage. <sighs> John claude Pandam? I don't know. <laughs> one Cyndasaur and one Pandapaw. Energon Igniter Bumblebee. This seems very familiar. Yeah, got him in the box. Might have to hang him up somewhere, I reckon. Or like, give him away. I don't know. He's all right, this guy. I'm very fond of... I think I covered it well enough in the video. But uh, yes, very fond of little Energon Igniter Bumblebee. What is this? <laughs> Oh my god. Ugh, his whole butt just opened up. Where's that note? Zod. Uh, so he's called Zod. He's a three-wheeled Gobot. And he's got this thing. And apparently he, he it says he jumps. God, he's got really hefty wheels. Like we talk about rubber tires in Transformers, but this is like an actual ATV. This is amazing. God, that is spectacular. What a mess. Gobots just went all out, didn't they? They just did everything. Because they did like the legit transforming ones, like the Robo Machine ones, but also just loads of weird tat like this. Like outdoor games and that. Like they had a water gun one. They just did not give a what. Dennis, you maniac. Oh, speaking of GoBots, we have stacks. Damn, look at that. The chrome's all good. That is glistening. Wow. This goes to show the one I've got has been coasting. I mean, like, my one's not in terrible shape, but he just doesn't have the same luster. Look at this. This is, like, legit, properly quality one. Further GoBots, I think. Yes, yes. This is... Vanguard, pretty sure. Uh, there we are. <laughs> I love GoBots. This is almost the same transformation as um, Stinger. I've got little the little gold car boy. Almost exactly the same transformation. I don't know if this is Vanguard, actually. Either way, I like him a lot. I love his um, chunky 70s aesthetic. Bit of Sentai, um, almost RC action in the head. He's a working man. Gosh, and speaking of a working man, this is some pure B-list Optimus. <laughs> Who is this man? Oh, dear. Hey! Now he looks familiar. Is it just because he looks like pipes or something? <laughs> I don't know who this is. God, there's just nothing better than a red and blue robot truck man. Time will attest that that is what the people love. Uh, oh god. <laughs> we have scooter rubbers. Scooter! Pencil erasers from 1984. So you can get all the different characters. The big six. Royal T? He's not one of us. God, it's a good day for GoBots. 
And also a good day for on-card random ass merchandise. Bit more Power of the Primes we have out back. Love this boy, love his brown and beige styles with the uh, popping hot silver. He's actually very good this one. I love this one and Brawn. The van mode is so gnarly, man, I love it. I had a slightly weird comment trend recently of folks asking me why I'm always looking over here during these videos. It's cause that's where my monitor is. I'm just trying to see what I'm doing. It's not that weird. Cyberverse, baby style Windblade, hell yeah. I'm warming to Windblade actually. I enjoy her design. I kind of feel like she's stepping on Thrust's toes a little bit with the VTOLs and the red jet mode, but like, it's fine. It's Thrust, who cares? Turbine Thrash, my favorite sub genre. And the crowning item, this is the one I was looking forward to. This is the one I cannot believe Dennis went ahead and got me. It's a friggin' Nintendo. It's a very official, very legitimate, Entertainment system. It's a non-tendo, a Nintendon't. But yes, this thing is apparently loaded with games, and there's a certain one on here that's rather on brand for what I do. So I might be recording some of that very soon indeed. Oh boy, this is exciting. He even went to the trouble of getting me all the right uh, cables, because I need PAL stuff, I'm in the UK, so he's got all the right ones. Sue frickin' Perb. Yes, Dennis! Oh, look, and there's a bot bot. Way! <laughs> oh, Dennis, that's beautiful. So we have the ridiculous GoBot Zod, the Nintendron machine, Windblade, Bubblebee, Cyndasaur, Outback, these two GoBot truck bros, the van with the plan, and the panda with the plander. Yeah, Dennis Webb, nicely done. Oh, boy, it doesn't get much better than that, does it? But we can certainly go bigger. This is an absolute monster. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I don't know what to expect. It's from John Murphy in uh, California. Let's just pop it open. I don't know. Running out of room in my house. So yeah, recently I've rearranged the whole thing. Like not in here, but most of the rest of the house I've rearranged a bit to clear up some space and it's already full again. Way. Oh, what a life. It's like that bit when uh, Homer Simpson goes to hell and they're like, oh, you like donuts, do you? We'll have every donut ever. And then, like, they just run out of donuts. And that's me, but with Transformers. What have we here and why? Oh, Jesus, we're... Okay, Masterpiece Tracks. <laughs> this is right there, okay. Right on top, sealed Masterpiece Tracks. Why? Hey, few greetings from Cali. Just wanted to say thanks for the great vids. Keep up the good videos, Jock. P.S. No sweet is in this package, nice. The bags are from San Diego Comic Con, 2016, 17, all right. I'll be starting my own channel soon on a regular basis. Robo Samurai on YouTube. Keep your eyes peeled for that. Okay. Cool, oh, that's a bit pretty. Yeah, I've heard mixed things about Tracks. He's supposed to be like, all right, but like quite flawed. Again, that's where Few lives. Come on, you. Oh no. <laughs> Raul, get me a scone before I perish. Oh yes, look at this lad. He got that sheen. God, that's so nice. I don't know what I was expecting. Just a shiny ass deep blue Corvette with the fabulous Rodimus flames. Deeply pretty, oh yeah. How am I gonna get him back in now? Stands falling out all over the shop. Come on. Well, where do we go from here? First thing in the box is a sealed masterpiece. Titans Rewind. Did they do the rest of these? I kind of lost track. Did they even do Rumble and Frenzy? I don't know. They did one of them. They did the red one. But I don't know if they did the other two, the blue ones. I don't know. It's good though, isn't it? Hey, rewind. Hasbro Bag for Life from uh, Hascon or um, in promotion of Hascon. I don't know. Oh, there's something cool about that. I now have a branded Hasbro carrier bag. Autobot Stripes. Yeah, now we're talking. This is one that completely passed me by. This is, oh God, what character is it? I don't know. Some kind of unproduced steel jaw variant. I've no idea. But he's a naff square jet plane and a daft square doggy and uh, like a phone, I guess. But if nothing else, he is certainly quite stripey. You do have them stripes. Beautiful. Okay, what else do we have? Uh, X Transbots Master Mini Series Hatch. So this is Tailgate. Never even really looked at this. Whoa, okay. God, we're doing all the sexy car modes today. Look at this. Yeah, that's some pure 80s magic. Is that a Corvette? A Ferrari of sorts? I don't really know what that is. It's pretty. God, it's so weird with the mini bots because I'm so used to seeing them like squished up and all super cute deformed and that, that you don't tend to think of them as being actual cars. But that is really rather something. Good Christ, man. 
Oh no, something fell off. Straight in the bin then. There's more to be done, so we'll uh, we'll pop him away for now. We'll figure out what's up later on. Wow, that's a big, that's a monster bag. Titan class carrier bag. <laughs> there you go, there's your thumbnail. What's that? Transformers Cloud Starscream, okay. <laughs> this is the one that's, uh, it's Generations Blitzwing. Hey, it's like in the Bumblebee movie, isn't it? Whee. Let's have that conversation again. But yeah, this is Generations uh, 2013, was it 2013? 2014, that Blitzwing, you know, the, the sort of shit one, but repainted as Starscream, and it actually works remarkably well. Look at the, the, the whole body type, it just suits him. Well, why shouldn't Starscream be a tank? Why shouldn't he? Why not? Still got three or four thingies in here. Make toys, trash talk, and Cogwheel. Oh yeah, this is their uh, swerve and gears, isn't it? Starting to feel mildly obscene. This, this is, this is no, 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 not even mildly. I can't get this open. I'm gonna rip it. Very beautiful. I love the uh, Cybertronny alt modes. A very uh, alt mode party, but they're, they're actually, dis they're actually like a little bit distinct. Beers, 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 drink, 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 drink. Let's say. That's kind of how I feel about the new Transformer comics. Like I haven't started reading them yet, the new series. But uh, I feel like as long as there's a couple of scenes of robots hanging out, drinking in a bar, being bros. I'll be all right with it. All righty, what else is in this box of wonder? Ooh, Transformers Easy Collection. This is the uh, the Japanese Legends ones. I remember this. Oh, okay, we've got two, three. They're all sealed. Don't know if it says which ones. Is this an unboxing video or what? Come on. <laughs> what are we doing here? A bit of gross gum. It looks like um, looks like Rena gel. Anyway, it's Optimus Prime. Whoa, there he is. Hey, look at this. He's in like a little. Uh, Little red and black color scheme. He's like actually black legs. That's weird. Is that from something? It's gotta be from something. They wouldn't just randomly do a black legs Optimus, would they? Or would they? That's the question. Oh, this one's all right, isn't it? This was a very sort of, um, very sort of back to basics figure because this came out when all the Optimuses around were all sort of weird and stylized. What was it? Reveal the shield. So um, yeah, all the Optimuses around, there was like the G2 one and it had been a while since they'd actually, I mean, we're drowning in them now, but it had been a while since there'd been an actual G1 faithful Optimus in this style. And he's all right, you know? He looks dead cool in like red and black as well. That's so badass. Who is next, please? Oops, oh no. There's damn strips, they always, you're supposed to just tear them off cleanly, but I can never do it. I always end up wrecking them. I am just destruction made flesh. Oh, it's Baby Prowl. I don't know if I've ever seen this before. Oh wait, it's the uh, it's the Beast Hunters one, isn't it? Or is it? It's kind of that shape. I don't know if I know this. Was this like the um, 2008? Universe one, it might be. I don't know, I've never seen this before anyway. <laughs> Certainly not in the flesh, but it's pretty cute, man. Got a lot of time for Prowl. He was a fave as a kid, and like these days I tend to default towards smokescreen, but there's always time for Prowl. Yeah, it's tough to say when this molds from, because like we've got the uh, 2008 Rodimus, 2011 Optimus, 2008 Megatron, 2010 Starscream. Easy now. Oh god, that's the worst one yet. <laughs> So hopeless. It's Starscream! Whoa, look at this shiny lad. Yeah, look at this. He's like metallic, like glistening. <laughs> Speaking of thrust, look at this nonsense. Hello! <laughs> Love this thing's transformation. It's so weird. So sort of backward. Shiny crimson Starscream with the pure metallic glow. So these are actually kind of neat. I love this. Freaking Prowl I've never seen before. Great Starscream. And a cheeky black and red Optimus. Real good stuff. Mm. Seems to have got a lot of screen time out of that. See, you got to pay attention to the small ones while it's fresh. Like Swerving Gears, I'll probably do a bigger video on them later. But like the small ones, you got to do it just like on the spot. It's kind of what the show's about, right? Any whom. Then we're not done. <laughs> Road rage. <laughs> Trax's sexy sister. John. Two sealed masterpieces. <laughs> you gotta be bonkers, mate. Uh huh. Alternative Bumblebee. My God. Whoa. Look at him. He's like a little perfect diecast car. What is this? A Swift? Is that like a Suzuki? Yeah, Suzuki Swift. I've heard this is like actually a bit of a nightmare, this figure. This little tubby two-step bob bod. I've always found that really bizarre that they call the Autobots Cybertrons. This is one of my least favorite translation things. Like, like where do you live then? What's the planet called? Actually, what is Cybertron called? If the Autobots are the Cybertrons, then what is Cybertron called? I actually genuinely don't know. It can't just be planet Autobot. Sweet boy. Got a bit of Kabea action on the go. This is, it appears to be, Kabea Silverbolt. Yeah, man, very nice. God, look at Onslaught on there. He's very green. I hear it's not that easy being green. Whoa, look at Motormaster. You got that square head. God, that's really odd, actually. That's weirdly different to the actual figure. But Silverbolt just looks like Silverbolt. Hey, God, I've got to get those Kabeas on the go. I've got the um, Diatlas gang in the other room. I really want to do that. Alternatively, <laughs> 
I could do Kabea Fortress Maximus. <laughs> metallic version, okay. I love a bit of Metallica, a bit of Master of Pupits. It's quite hefty for a Kabea model kit. I thought they were supposed to be little, but I suppose it is the biggest boy ever. That is gonna be a mammoth task. Mammoth Taskimus. Oh, John, where do you even get all these? And last of all, we have uh, hoist. Robots in disguise, baby x brawn hoist version. Very nice. Wow, this has been quite a take. All this like import and masterpiece gear and sealed stuff. It's not my own shop at this rate. <laughs> All right. So thank you, John. That was utterly unbelievable. Disgraceful. Disgraceful behavior. All right, we're gonna have to leave it there. That's enough amazing stuff for one day, I reckon. So thank you very much for watching and thanks to everybody who keeps sending me all this brilliant gear. <laughs> Why? Why do you? Why do you? And what I'll do is I'll wrap up some reviews for you fairly soon and I'll catch you, if you don't mind, on the gosh darn flip side. Check you later, Bill and Ted 3. <laughs> All right, big shout out to all my patrons for continuing to support me through the digital wilderness. And in particular, big thanks to Mira Sanders for pledging this week. You're too kind. Okay, see you soon. Be sure to subscribe for more Thew's Awesome Transformers reviews. Limited appeal, keeping it real.